So first, how we met. Okay, so we were, I was I was a stripper and she was, she went inside this restaurant and then she saw me and she said she was out, she went out to me and she told me I was the hottest stripper there. And I said, oh, everyone says that, you know? I gave her a dance for free and she liked it and then we, and then we took her, I took her to my house because I can live by myself because I got so much money. And then we just went from there. Right? And one of us had to be a stripper, it would be me because you suck. How'd you end up with me then? What do you mean? We're husband and wife, right? You ended up with me, wife? I'll give you a chance, honey. Go, your bug! Mm. No, okay, we're kidding. Not like that. You better be kidding. To tell the real story, we met mm. at Burger King. Badasses. <laughs> well, I just went there to work, not to. But, mm -hmm. so we met at Burger King, right? Mm -hmm. I was working there for. Are you serious? No. No more dropping them on the floor. You can eat it, but don't drop it no more. Ew, that's squishy. I was working at Burger King. I was working there for a few months and then she got hired and then I saw her for the first time and I asked her for her name and she said Maribel and I thought it was Annabelle. I couldn't hear her listen well. And then we started talking about random stuff. I liked him because I thought he had short hair. He always had his hair that I didn't know he had long hair. If I see him the long hair, I'm like, no, no thanks, no thanks. And somehow I, I ended up getting her number and then we started texting each other a lot. She said that I texted like a nerd, which I'm not. We were working together and I invited her to go to a restaurant with me in San Diego, a Korean restaurant. And I asked her, do you like Korean restaurant? She said, no, I don't think so. And I asked her, you should come with me, you know, just try it out. She said, okay. And then I picked her up a few days later after that. Mm -hmm. well, I clicked on you the first time. Oh yeah. She said no because she was feeling sick, which she was. I thought she was lying, but no. She was actually sick. <laughs> I said yes, but the, the last minute I canceled because I was like... A few days later, she was able to go because she was feeling better. So I picked her up from her house and she went inside my car and she was yeah, like quiet. Yeah, Trump wallpapers or whatever. I wanted to leave that car. When I went in there, I wanted to get out of that thing. True story. I'm only saying the positive stuff, you're saying the negative stuff. And she was so quiet. Why am I crying? Why am I... She was scared that I was one of those guys that would wanted to go to San Diego with her so I can like do something sexually. I leave my ass in the city. But I'm not like that. I didn't know that. And that that first day he kissed me. I did. I thought it was before that. No. No, you first started holding my hand. It was weird. But I like that his hands were so soft. I mean, look at these hands. They're gigantic. Oh. That explains. Right. That explains. I. What? That explains what? That explains why I, I, I'm tall. Because I have big hands. We went to the Korean restaurant and she tried that carne, a thin carne that they have at the Korean thin. restaurant. Well, it's called brisket. Brisket. It's called brisket. You should you guys should try it out. It's really good. And she. We haven't even told the name of the restaurant first. It's called um. Rodan Barbecue. Oh yeah, Rodan Barbecue. Who doesn't remember we took that? Rodan Barbecue day. and and. How sad is it? And 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 she tried it and she loved it and then we went back to her house and I dropped her off. Right? What the hell did we do after that? We went right? somewhere else. There were like the first time. Oh yeah, we, we would, went like, to Cruising out. Grand. We were walking at Cruising Grand and talking, art which museum. you don't do anymore. Oh yeah, we went to an art museum after that in in, in our hometown and she liked it. That's how we met at Burger King by talking to each other. Cause she got hired. But you know what's funny? He was trying to get at someone else before he tried to get at me. No. Just sorry. I was waiting for you. Ask her boss. <laughs> she had kids. But yeah, he was trying to be a player. Trying to get at two people at the same time. No, that's not true. But I had fun before I met him. I had lots of fun. Oh yeah, I had a lot of fun before I met you too. What? <laughs> Going to park? Drinking coffee. Ugly fat Watching girl. politics. Grandpa stuff. 
No, it's not grandpa stuff. Anyone can like politics at this time of age. I don't think no one's interested in politics. At yeah. Age. No one takes it seriously. Everyone says fuck Trump and that's it. No, right? Trump hates politics. He's not a politician. Trump is stupid. Trump is just trying to make America great again. Okay, why are we talking about Trump? I don't want to talk about him. Okay, so that's how we met. That's the theme of this video. How we met at Burger King. Burger King. She got hired and I talked to her and then it just went from there. Now it's been a year and a half and we're already married. We have our marriage certificate there. Marriage. Marriage certificate. Married. We already got our rings, which took a long time to arrive. We have one picture of each other there. <laughs> there. Yeah, I can see. Well, now he's gonna be a daddy. We'll see. Okay, if she is pregnant and we're having the baby, we're not gonna say any bad words. We're gonna give the baby the healthiest foods there is, okay? Why do you look at me like that? I'm just saying, no bad words. Well, I can try. And I love my baby so much because she's one of a kind. She's not like other girls that, that are sneaky with stuff. Like, their husband go to work and the wife, they go out to places and they do stuff they shouldn't be doing. She's not like that. She's actually telling, she tells me everything she does. And I love that. I love my wife. She's very lovable, moody sometimes. But she tells me everything and I love that. That's what a marriage should be. Mm -hmm. Telling each other everything. Sometimes I screw up, sometimes she screws up. But mostly I screw up you know, most of the time because... I'm still learning, but I have not. I have. I haven't done anything that's like way out of our. Um, well, to us, it's a big deal, but to normal couples, it's not a big deal. Uh huh. Because we don't do what other couples do. Mm -hmm. Sneak around and lie, and at the end, the lie comes up, and then they fight, and then they break up. We don't break up. There's no breaking up in no, our relationship. We haven't broken. We we don't break up. We don't do that. We fix it. I beat his is. ass a couple of times. Whatever there is, I we pull fix his it. hair a couple of times. You know, I want to kill him sometimes because at the moment you just say stupid stuff and you just want to slap the shit out of him. Excuse my language, but we don't. There's people that some men hit their girls back. I mean, sometimes the girls. I mean, it's their fault, but. Okay, this last thing, okay, because it's long. So, if you're married, even if you're just a boyfriend and girlfriend, never hit your partner. Never. Not even, you know, just because you're a girl. Oh, I can hit my husband. I'm a girl. No, not even that. Don't hit your partner. Treat the partner nice, you know, and just be faithful, respectful, and tell your partner everything because it's very important. It's really nice, it's really amazing actually to not lie about anything, to let your partner know everything. I can't help but tell him everything. I have to tell him everything, it's just I can't help it keeping anything from him. Mm -hmm. Even whatever thought I have, I, I tell him. And same here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, love. Bye. Bye.